in case you missed our last interview, we're honouring the Mayo woman whose homemade scones are an absolute internet sensation, so we invited a Cork woman into the kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Jack. That's it, I'm going home. It's Jack O'Keefe. Good morning to you. Good Do morning. not be insulted I'm going to start throwing scones in a minute. Exactly. Yeah. Here's three. Yeah. Get going. You're calling my scones rocks. <laughs> How are you this morning? I'm brilliant bar for that. Oh, <laughs> don't mind us. We're only having a bit of fun. So, of course, you're going to start with the classic uh, scone this morning. Scone. 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 <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's a scone, scone. not a scone, a scone. A we do scone. our OP accent in oh, scone. Look. So scones, look, look, it's like a nice classic recipe. Mm. Yes. Nice and easy. Very unusual for me to be doing a I nice was going to say recipe. that, yeah. However, I have some surprises here for you, Alan. Yeah, I know. Wait and you see what he has in some of them. Don't worry, there's no smoked fish in them. It's fine. No, but that's good. <laughs> Bit of variety. So with yeah. the, um, like, to start off, you can use your hands, of course. In here are all my dry ingredients. My self-raising flour, salt, sugar, and cold cubed butter. Make sure it's cold. Okay. The normal technique that we'd use in kitchens or cookery schools or whatever when we're telling people about scones is a rubbing technique. So using your fingertips like this to rub the butter into the flour. That's a lovely technique yeah. you have there. Look at that. <laughs> I'm a princess, you see. But me being a chef and being young and being very lazy, I just dump it all into a food processor, like so. That'd be me. Oh, Captain Layden now would no, be that'd going, be me. oh no, That's you grand. can't be the doing that. Number. She can take it up you have, to, you have to get the hands in and doing it. Like, look how clean my hands are, they're lovely. Do you remember there used to be those things that you'd press down, and you'd kind of mill the, 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 no? The, the, no. No? <laughs> no? Okay, maybe I didn't well. learn that in home <laughs> economics. Maybe I didn't. <laughs> mill the dough. But once you're going to get a breadcrumb texture like that, that's, oh, that's pretty much good, it. Actually, and look, you don't it? overwork it. You don't melt the, flour, the butter. Yeah. It doesn't get all greasy. Uh, and that's really it. And then in on top of that, you're going to put an egg, double cream, of course, because it's me. Yeah. You've got to take care of yourself when it's starting to get cold. So milk and hold off the last little drop of milk just okay. in case it's too wet. Raisins, if you're adding in raisins. Now, right, the important thing here is, and I let you know I like to teach techniques, yeah. where it's more about the technique rather than the recipe. If you want a savoury scone, you want to play around with it, just remove the 50 grams of sugar. That's it. And then you have a savoury scone. Now, with your toppings, to this recipe that you'll see on the website, you have, what is it, 75 grams of raisins or sultanas or any dry ingredient. You can play around that. You can use cherries, like you can use blueberries. Scone, you can I, use I like a blueberry scone as well, yeah. Do you? Yeah. Do you know what I love to do? I, I like love to actually... Scone. But tell us what else you have in them. You have... Oh, so that's it in the plain fruit ones, pretty much. But here I have Very some easy. beautiful Iberico chorizo <gasps> with some vintage Yummy. Irish cheddar. Yum, yum. And it's absolutely Chorizo class. and cheddar. Go on, man. I see, no. I'd love that now. Well, we'll give you, you a chorizo what? and cheddar one. And all I didn't it, get one yet. All it's done next in is take your hands, get stuck in, pop it out onto a board or a floured surface. Now, you see the way it's not a dough? I haven't been playing with it. Scone is a great recipe. That's why most people learn it in home ec, because it's a great recipe to start off with. Yeah. Mm. Do not play around with this dough. Just work it a tiny bit, just to bring it all together. It should be crumbly, it should look messy, it should look like a disaster. But that's fine. Jack, what, what sorry, are you I, was, to I, was, say? I was saying that that's what I learned in home ec. I was trying to find the name for the... Kneading. Kneading, yeah. I'm an absolutely useless baker. What was it, what was it that you were making? What have we been making for years wrong? <laughs> salsa. Salsa. <laughs> she thought she was making salsa for years, inviting people around saying, have you my fabulous salsa Listen, recipe? Listen, wasn't salsa at everybody all. knows my skills are not in the kitchen. <laughs> what are we going to say about that? Right, so once you have your dough kind of rolled out a little bit, you can mm. use a rolling pin if you want, but you see, mm. I just use my hands. Scone cutter, and because... It's I get, all very rustic, isn't it, Jack? It's lovely. Oh, what I'm like. You know what I'm like. They're really good. If you don't want it to stick, be intelligent and dip it in flour before you try and do this. But being me, I always generally forget something like salt. Now, what do you what do you think of the? Absolutely, eleven out of ten. It's absolutely delicious. The chorizo one. Mm. And then all I do then is once they're cut, just pop them out onto a tray. Bit of egg wash, like so. Obviously, do the whole lot and take then all your scrappings, put them back together and cut more. Give them a little brush, like so. A little bit of granulated sugar in on top, just to get that nice crispy coating into the oven, Now, that's degrees. what it was that I said earlier on. Does that, do you, would you, would everybody put granulated sugar on the top no, of them? Look, it's up to yourself. Usually what, sometimes I would do, it, I'd actually whip honey into the egg, into the egg wash. And then that honey actually kind of starts to caramelise, it gets really crispy, which you can just use granulated sugar, it's perfectly fine. We all have it for our tea or whatever in the house, you can just sprinkle it in. 
Like, and you were saying yeah. with, with those I've just ones. hit a bit of chorizo there, and it's like, woof, it's a lot for 20 to 9, isn't it? Yeah. But mm. what Spicy else threezo. would you do then if you were doing different types of scones? Like, I love cherries, and I love the really Ooh, good, cherries. expensive cherries. I don't think I've really oh. had a cherry scone. Class. And with the cherry, what and would you do would you keep is them nice and big? Keep a few. Take half the cherries, so 75 grams of cherries, split in half then. Keep half whole, and the other half, chop it up into, like, a paste and you fold it through the dough so you get this like red marbling colour throughout your, your scone. Why did you do that this morning? You didn't have any cherries at home, Alan. <laughs> <laughs> for, for kind of first time bakers like me, right, if I'm going to try this at home when I go home today, what are the kind of the top two tips to go for so I don't mess it up? Don't overwork the dough. All right, okay. Right, distract yourself. Try on some nice music, <clears throat> maybe make a few cups of tea or whatever. Lovely. And just have fun with it. And that's really it. Don't overwork the dough. That's the only thing I can say. Because okay. you'll end up with a hockey puck. I know what? Wants that. A hockey okay. puck. Like you could, good advice. A slitter. I, I love your thing. Um, <laughs> put on some music. <laughs> just sort of sit there with it. The I was about to say, I can get a bottle of wine. <laughs> but no, that's not appropriate. <laughs> Jack, I could just imagine you. Yeah. Never overdo your dough. <laughs> yeah. Listen, you're back later on. I am. For some making spaghetti frittata. Oh, yummy. Spaghetti frittata. No. This will be good. Never waste pasta ever again.